Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. It is a uh, wintry Thursday evening, so I wanted to do a bit of a video. Um, I've recently been going through and getting all my Marvel comics from the Star Wars, uh, Marvel Star Wars comics from the last couple of years, and uh, putting them in the bags and with boards and stuff, and you know, just protecting them. Um, and while I haven't been going sort of super, super crazy on the single issues, as they are quite expensive to get down here in Australia, like a little bit more than what you pay in the States. Um, anywhere between like five, seven, eight dollars for a single issue. That and um, the, all the comic book stores in the city are probably a 30, 35 minute drive and it's a little bit out of the way to have to go, go into the city um, every week and pick up new comics. So. Uh, I tend to stick with the trade paperbacks. Um, I'm up to date with them for the, for the most part. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anything's come out in the last couple of weeks, so I'm pretty sure I'm up to date. Um, I haven't read the last three, but... Anyway, like the single issues, I've made a little mission to pick up every single issue, issue one. Um, so the first issue of each... You know, for example, I've got Rogue One sitting here on top, the, the adaptation from the movie, so... Um, which I'm going to collect the full run of anyway, but uh, I just want to share, run, run a few of these comics through and what I've got. Um, I've got a pile about that big, so it's not much, but um, I just wanted to share them. I think it would be a cool thing. So anyway, we'll start with Rogue One, number one. So like I said, I've, uh, I've been picking up the bags and boards as I need them. Um, Every time I go into the city, I tend to tend to need to grab a couple of issues, so I do that. So that's Rogue One number one. Uh, we've got Rogue One number issue two. Uh, I think number five's just come out, um, so there's one more after that, and Rogue One will be complete. Issue three. And uh, yeah, I believe there's a little bit more. I haven't actually sat down and read these yet, but I will once I've uh, got the full book, um, once I've got the full six issues. Uh, this really cool cover here of uh, issue four of Rogue One. So once that once that runs complete, I'll uh, sit down and read the full book. Uh, Force Awakens. I did collect all these. Issue one. I know the um, some of the artwork copped a bit of slack. Um, when it was released. I didn't mind it. I think the story was sort of rushed a little bit. You probably could have drawn it out over maybe 12 issues. But, uh, you know, it was a six issue run and, you know, there's a few bits that skips over pretty quickly. But that's okay. Still nice and tidy. Issue number two. Uh, there's issue three of The Force Awakens. I really like that cover, Maz Kanata, and the statue there, I think that looks great. Issue 4, so it's a bit of a highlight for Ray's uh, force back, flash forward, who knows what it is yet. Mostly flashback I think, but uh, that's, a, that's a really cool piece of art on the front there. Number 5, Kai Ren. Love that cover. And the last one with Force Awakens, number six. So that wraps up the Force Awakens story. And uh, I'm just trying to straighten them up. Uh, I've got a couple of annuals. Haven't had a chance to read these yet. Now this one was pretty recent. Droids, this is just a one shot. Um, this is just putting together all the little, in the back of some of the um, trades, there's been just a few little mini stories about the droids. So they've compiled them together in this issue, which is cool. C3PO one shot, how he got his red arm. Princess Leia number one. So all these are original first printings as well, which is a bonus. I know that that first Star Wars number one, back in 
back in 2015 that sold like crazy and that had that had numerous reprints but uh, I was lucky enough to get the first one but here's Han Solo number one I like that cover Chewbacca number one Dog, annoying. Anyway, Lando number one. That's a cool cover. I like that. I like those colours. Doctor Afro number one. Oh, I just got the trade paperback for the for the first six issues of Doctor Afro, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Then we've got number issue one of the Screaming Citadel, which is the little crossover episode, crossover little mini series between the regular Star Wars story with Luke and uh, the Doctor Aphra story. So looking forward to reading that eventually. Darth Maul number one. This is pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to the trade paperback for Darth Maul coming out. Uh, now this is Darth Vader number one. This is from the newest series. This takes place just after, right after Revenge of the Sith. Um, and sort of during the end of Revenge of the Sith. So um, we've had the Darth Vader story from Between A New Hope and Empire. Um, we followed Darth Vader there for a little while. And now they're jumping back and we're going to, and, and uh, Marvel were exploring that post return of the Re Revenge of the Sith story. So... That's cool, and I really like that cover as well. You got Obi Wan and Anakin, Volume One. This is a this is a five or six issue run. It wasn't a bad story. I think I would have liked. I'd like to see a little bit more out of Obi Wan and Anakin. I think it'd be great. Sort of a young Anakin, sort of between Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Poe Dameron number one. I just got the second trade paperback of Poe Dameron. So I'm looking forward to catching up on that as well. Got Shattered Empire number one. Now oh, there's only one I believe I'm missing at this stage and that is the, uh, uh, it'll come to me shortly. It was the Darth Vader Star Wars crossover, uh, Vader down. I'm missing, missing issue one of that, but I'll grab it. I uh, know the comic book store has got everything I need. So <laughs> got Kanan issue one. I really like the Kanan series. It was a really great story. And there we go. Star Wars issue volume one. This was the first one that came out back in 2015. This is the one that sold like absolute hotcakes, probably better than hotcakes. Because uh, oh, I haven't bought hotcakes in a while, so you know this, I've, I've bought more comics than I have hotcakes recently. Just straighten them up before they fall over. <laughs> Star Wars number two. I did get a few of these issues. Star Wars number three. And uh, I'm starting to think I'd like to go back and get the full run of Star Wars, the, just the main Star Wars story. They're up to about 30 now, I think, so. Star Wars 4. Nice, nice image on the front. And uh, Darth Vader number one. This is the uh, original series I spoke of a few minutes ago. Darth Vader number two. And that's it for my Marvel stuff. And for some reason, I've grabbed a couple of other stuff from uh, Dark Horse. But um, I do have another bunch of Dark Horse comics that I have um, put put away in bags and boards as well. So to keep them tidy. And, you know, it's a lot of fun collecting these books. And uh, I just wanted to share with you my collection of them so far. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm completely up to date with trades. Um... And one issue one I need to get plus the new ones that are coming out like there's Phasmas coming out um, oh, there's a one shot of uh, K2SO and Cassian so I'll have to grab that when that comes out and uh, 
yeah, it's it's cool. It's good fun. Lots of fun to read. Um, hard to keep up with. <laughs> that's, that's the main thing. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Until my next video, may the force be with you.